the 2023 Subaru Solterra and the 2023 Toyota BZ4X were developed by their respective parent firms, Subaru and Toyota. Customers who compare the BZ4X and Solterra will find that the Subaru is more expensive than the Toyota because they share the same platform. The starting price for the 2023 Solterra is $46,220 while the starting price for the 2023 BZ4X is $43,215. The least priced Solterra costs $3,005 more than the least expensive BZ4X. Because of its standard dual motor, all-wheel drive system, Subi's price tag is a little more complicated than that. A single motor from front-wheel drive is standard on the Toyota. What's the difference in pricing between the standard BZ4X and the all-wheel drive BZ4X? However, it's still $925 less than the Solterra's base model price. No, I don't think it's just because of the price. The two models are quite similar and very different. So you'll need to know a lot about them before deciding. So stay tuned for more information on these two wonderful models. Hey everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel, where you can only get effective current updates on trending Tesla news, latest technologies, and everything related to the EV industry. Please consider subscribing to my channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. I also ask you to help me reach 1000 likes on this video. So without going any further, let's begin. In today's video, I'll go over the comparison between the 2023 Subaru Solterra and the 2023 Toyota BZ4X. All-wheel drive versions of the Solterra are readily accessible. The most expensive Subarus in the showroom are the Limited $49,720 and Touring $53,220. This model is only available in XLE and Limited trim levels. All-wheel drive is an additional $2,080 on the Limited's base price of $47,915. According to Subaru, a limited number of 2023 Solterra and 2023 BZ4X models will go on sale this summer. The business also claims it's finalizing plans to provide Solterra reservation holders with either a credit for EVgo charging or money to buy and install a Level 2 charger at home. Here are the major comparison between the 2023 Subaru Solterra and 2022 Toyota BZ4X. Despite sharing a base with the Toyota BZ4X, the Subaru Solterra and Toyota BZ4X are different electric vehicles. The design and major features of vehicles based on the same platform might vary greatly. One of the optional features of the 2022 Toyota BZ4X that got people's attention. Unlike Tesla models, the BZ4X can be equipped with a steering yoke instead of a conventional steering wheel. Many people have been dubious about the new design of Tesla's steering yoke ever since the company first unveiled it. The futuristic steering wheel was a deliberate choice by Toyota. A report from The Verve suggests that the Subaru Solterra's steering yoke is getting the boot. According to this comparison, Solterra's interior is more traditional than BZ4X's. The outward design of the two electric SUVs may make it difficult to tell them apart, but their interiors will be distinctive and express a distinct sense of character. The 2023 Subaru Solterra will feature X-Mode. X-Mode will be standard on the 2023 Subaru Solterra, making it difficult for any other automaker to match it. This all-wheel drive control mode is unique to Subaru vehicles since it allows them to react to extremely bad weather and road conditions better. With AWD and X mode, drivers can select terrain specific modes such as mud and snow. Subaru's X mode traction control system has been a prominent element of the automaker's vehicles since 2014, even though other automakers have their traction control settings and features. If the BZ4X includes Toyota's multi terrain select traction control technology or not, we don't know yet. The Subaru Solterra has a different target audience than the Toyota BZ4X. The most significant distinction between the two vehicles is the scope of their sagas. While the two automakers may have worked together, Subaru and Toyota don't build the same SUVs. The Toyota RAV4 is one example of the brand's SUV lineup from the automaker. The RAV4 is a safe, reliable, and fuel-efficient little car. There are a variety of RAV4 trims, but the most important selling factor is its affordability and lengthy lifespan. Outback, Forester, and Crosstrek are all Subaru SUVs. 
Since 1997, Subaru has focused on designing and building SUVs that are specifically designed to be used in the outdoors. The Subaru Forester epitomizes the brand's usual take on the SUV market. High ground clearance and terrain management features are included. Symmetrical all-wheel drive included as standard equipment on the Subaru Forester enhances handling in hazardous circumstances. In the 2023 Solterra, Subaru is unlikely to vary from the current style of SUVs it has been producing. The presence of X-Mode suggests that the Solterra may be able to match the off-road capabilities of its forebears. Even though Subaru and Toyota share a base, the two companies aim for quite distinct demographics. Subaru has offered a 360-degree parking camera for the first time, which is a first for any company's vehicles. With safe exit assist, occupants of the Solterra are alerted to impending traffic before they exit the vehicle. If you're looking to get your hands on a BZ4X, you'll be the first to get Toyota's latest safety sense package, including low-light cyclist and railing sensors. Infotainment systems now utilize cloud data to gather real-time traffic and parking circumstances at your navigation's destination and on the way, and a smartphone-based digital key system is also available for the Toyota. It will be interesting to see how these products weigh up against one another in the future. I'm sure you're having a good time with this video, but the best is yet to come, so you won't want to miss what's to come in this video. Range and performance. Both the Toyota and Subaru will be available in either a single motor FWD or dual motor AWD model. The latter is named X mode. However, the Toyota will only be available in all wheel drive mode. However, the Toyota Solera's 320 km range makes it a more viable option than the Subaru XLE's 400 km range, so you'll want to consider that if you're looking for more range than the Subaru has offered. A small difference, but in the expanding world of EVs, the range is still important. Both models employ the same lithium-ion battery pack making 71.4 kWh in front-wheel drive vehicles and 72.8 kWh in all-wheel drive ones. However, both OEMs claim that the Solterra and the BZ4X can be charged from 0-80% to in less than an hour which is slightly slower than many other OEMs. Ford, Volkswagen, and Hyundai, for example, claim for the same charge. The all-wheel drive version's power and torque ratings put them right in competition in this rapidly growing market sector. Subaru has been hard for both models to improve the all-wheel drive system to give improved on-demand torque when you push the accelerator and user-selectable power regeneration modes. 8.3 inches of ground clearance and well-protected batteries mean that if you're traversing a rock or two, there won't be any worries about the Toy Baru twins. While these two vehicles won't be able to compete with the Jeep Wrangler 4XE when it comes to off-roading, they'll suffice for most people's needs when it comes to driving in icy conditions or finding their way to a remote vacation home. Some of the most reliable vehicles in the automotive business can be found at Toyota. Toyota's automobiles, trucks, and SUVs may easily go for 300,000 miles or more when properly cared for. Rather than relying on a gasoline engine, the 2022 Toyota BZ4X has an all-electric drivetrain. Battery packs using lithium-ion cells comprised of cobalt and other metals are commonly used in electric vehicles' drivetrains. In an automobile with a gasoline engine, the motors perform the same functions as the transmission. For the wheels to move, the battery needs to be charged. In the long run, electric vehicles may outlive gasoline-powered ones because they don't have internal combustion engines or traditional transmissions. Toyota expects the BZ4X's battery capacity to only decline by 10% over a decade, according to Inside EVs. This means that a Toyota BZ4X with a 10-year battery life will only be able to travel 225 miles. Toyota's BZ4X may theoretically last for decades before it is phased out. The Toyota BZ4X is one of a new generation of vehicles that will fundamentally alter the way we get around. No more smoggy city vistas, expensive gas prices, or hazardous fossil fuel combustion for us. Toyota, Tesla, Ford, Rivian, and other automakers are paving the path to the electric future with their popular high-quality EVs. So, should you buy a 2022 Toyota BZ4X? Well, several Toyota all-electric vehicle models are on their way. 
Starting with this one, the BZ4X, for more than a decade, Toyota has been a pioneer in developing alternative fuels. In 1997, Toyota began selling the Prius. Toyota has taken its zero emission ambition a step further with its Beyond Zero series of vehicles. With the 2022 Toyota BZ4X electric SUV, a new era of electric SUVs will begin. The Toyota RAV4 stands out as a standout model in crossover utility vehicles. Toyota has repeatedly demonstrated that it knows how to build automobiles that offer great value while remaining reasonably priced. In addition to being an important chapter in Toyota's history, the BZ4X is likely to be an excellent deal for most buyers searching for an electrical SUV. As for the 2023 Subaru Solterra and the 2023 Toyota BZ4X, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Which one do you think is the better buy? Why did you make that decision, etc.? The comment section is a great place for you to share your thoughts and help us brainstorm as a community. If you enjoyed this video, check out our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you next time. Until then, peace.